It was an absolutely stunning summer day in Buenos Aires when we finally set sail in our rental RV. It was stunning for all the wrong reasons. It was stunningly soggy. All right, so it's a rainy day, but we're in our Class B motor van. Yeah. And uh, going to a little town called Tigre. Can you see how we're moving, folks? There's a little curve right there. So <laughs> Rain or shine, navigating a foreign country can pose a special driving challenge. Thankfully, we had a turn-by-turn -turn GPS system guiding us every step of the way. One turn, we missed it. That's all right. And besides, driving is driving, right? An RV is an RV. A motorhome's a motorhome. I mean, how different can the driving experience really be? Well, we have a slight problem. We're on a dead end street. We need to back up. We can't get the car to go in reverse. <laughs> Slight problem. Slight issue. Pushing down, I'm pulling up. And that going into reverse. You got the clutch in, right? No. Yeah. Work that gear shift, baby. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I figured it out. All right. Now, to put the car in reverse, see the little R right there? You don't just push over and go that way. See this right here? Yeah. You have to pull up on it and then push over and go that way. Yay. Who the heck would have ever invented that? <laughs> How many Americans does it take to shift an RV in reverse? Two, with yeah. about 20 minutes to spare. Yeah. <laughs> Through the downpour, we found a rustic spot to stop for the night. A place where we could relax and enjoy the view. There's the view from our window. The view of the local train station. Wow. Now, one thing about being in Argentina with an RV, you can pretty much park your rig anywhere you want. This is boondocking territory. A lot of people recommended we stay at the train station because uh, it's a well-lit, wide-open parking lot. Our four-wheeled accommodations were thoroughly comfortable, save for one tiny detail. Yes, the toilet was of the portable variety that doesn't mesh so well with any south of the border stomach ailments. <laughs> Don't you just love a good dose of reality? Well, there are two sides to every coin and rest assured that the sunny side did eventually come up. When we finally emerged from our metal cocoon, we were greeted by blue skies a welcome dose of truly perfect weather. It was as if Mother Nature was trying to make it all up to us. Tigre is a river town, so there are a lot of fun activities here that are water related. For example, you can take a river cruise. Turns out that Tigre is a scene of non-stop aquatic activity. Kayaks, canoes, water taxis, speedboats, if it floats, it's probably at this very moment bobbing along the river waters around Tigre. Tigre boasts a famous fruit market where they sell just about everything you can think of except for fruit. I picked up my own gaucho hat. This is double extra large. I need for my big head. I think that looks good. This is the hat. Cool. While it won't replace my pith helmet anytime soon, it's certainly a welcome addition to my camping arsenal. We were absolutely charmed by Tigre. We drank some wine. So you want to know how much this costs? Delicious bottle of wine tonight, nine pesos. 
That's about $2.64, my friends. We laughed, we cried, we were moved. Okay, our series on Argentina is kind of like being presented with a seven course meal and skipping out after you've tasted the first breadstick. Please keep in mind that we had a very short amount of time to take out this RV. Rest assured that we had a blast RVing in Argentina, even though we just got a little tiny taste instead of an entire meal. The good news, Argentina has very friendly RV camping laws. You can park your rig and dry camp just about anywhere you please. Okay, so what's the bad news? Well, there aren't a lot of dedicated full hookup RV campgrounds, so you'll often be dry camping. And then there's the whole bathroom situation. Let's just say that your number one issue may involve number two. Just be prepared to use public restrooms and you'll be fine. We had the good fortune of meeting a German fellow who had just returned from a two-month trip. I have been for two months on the trip in Argentina. It was uh, very comfortable to go with this motorhome. They are excellent. So there you have it, RV camping in Argentina. Why? Because life should be a long, long honeymoon. This is a new movie I'm working on, A Fistful of Pesos.